I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, much like last week's video, we're going to take a look at four of my favorite phases. We looked at flanges last week. Flanges and phases to me are like cousins in the world of modulation effects. They do very similar tasks, but they each have their own distinct character. To get started, I have a PRS DGT on the bridge humbucker in drop D, the 5153 100-watt stealth blue amp, my free cabinet IR, and I've got some of the large plate reverb over here. Let's just hear a quick little chunk. <laughs> absolutely adore those stealth models in there. They've quickly jumped to the top of the heap for high gain amps for me. We will hear some clean sounds in just a little bit, but for now, let's start off with a classic phaser, the old phase 90. I'm gonna bring up the Stripe 90 based on the Eddie Van Halen signature MXR pedal. This is a great way to just add some subtle movement to your leads or your rhythm playing on here. I just like to turn the rate down, you know, somewhere in that vicinity over there. I'll do some playing, both some chords and some single notes, and then I will kick this block in. <laughs> Instant gratification with that one. It also works really well with the rate slightly higher, somewhere around two hertz is my kind of preferred starting point. With a clean amp and a compressor, I'm just using the Studio Feed Forward compressor and the Band Commander. I'll go to the tapped neck pickup on this guitar. Uh, it's a really great funky little phaser. <laughs> Next up, let's take a look at the classic vibe. A lot of people don't realize that a uni vibe is actually a four stage phaser. It uses photo cells instead of other types of electronic circuitry. So it kind of has a unique response and feel about it. The way I've dialed this in over here, I've set the rate just where I like it and about one and a half Hertz over here. I've played around with the depth control on there, but I have gone into the more section and played around with the photo cell attack and release. Basically you can make the uni vibe more or less lumpy sounding with these controls. Go for a faster attack and release if you want less lump, but I definitely like the lump on there. We'll hear it with a clean sound. I'm gonna switch over to a plexi style amp model in here. <laughs> Thank you. 
vibe is a beautiful thing. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Naughty Rock, which is based on an electro harmonics bad stone phaser. We can't talk about modulation effects without talking about an electro harmonics example over here. You will notice that the Stripe 90 and the Classic Vibe were both four stage phasers. The Naughty Rock in here is a six stage phaser. I kind of like this with the rate way up high to cop a little bit of that like faux Led Zeppelin no quarter electric piano sound. <laughs> is just so fat and syrupy sounding on there. I love the point of difference it gives you from the classic Phase 90 and Univibe sounds. It's easy to forget that other phases exist when you're so used to the Phase 90 and the Univibe because they are classics. They do what they do better than anything else. But as soon as you get into like the six, eight, 10 and 12 stage phases, you can have a whole lot of extra fun on here. It's well worth exploring. So we'll round this out by going to a 12 stage phaser over here. This is the ultra super mega phaser in here. I've got it at the stock settings. And what I'm gonna do is I specifically want to dial in a little bit more of an extreme sound over here. So I'm gonna play around with the feedback both positive and negative on here. First, I'll start with the rate and the depth. You can see that the order is set to 12 on here. It's immediately gonna have a little more of a kind of complex, rich sound about it. Let's just see where we end up. <laughs> Thank you. 
like I said earlier, it's easy to forget that there's other phases outside of the classic Phase 90 and Uni vibe. This one is amazing if you want more of that modern digital phasing sound that was so popular with rock music in the late 90s and early 2000s. That to me is the type of thing you would hear on a new metal song during the second verse on the guitar. There would be this extreme phaser sound on it that just adds so much texture and character, definitely not an always on thing like the Phase 90 or the Uni vibe, but it really has its own space and its own use case in there. That one would be amazing to basically just take any sound source and pipe it through there and totally mutilate it on there. The kind of trick though, is that we're using the 12th order over here. We can set the feedback point to different places. We can have positive or negative feedback. We can quantize the LFO if we want in there. We can play around with different wave shapes. Like if I go to a square wave shape on here, I can have quite a lot of fun with this. I might play you all out with that example. I could even tempo sync the flanger over here. So I could set it up to be like an eighth note tempo. I could have a delay on here. I've got this ping pong delay, which is synced up to the tempo as well. And I'm just gonna have a whole bunch of fun with a lot of distortion on here. I hope you enjoyed this video talking about phasers. Let me know your favorite phaser type in the Axe FX phaser block. Have a fantastic week making some glorious guitar noises and I will see you all in the next Tuesday Tone Tip. Cheers.